Honestly, say that it makes gaming more exciting than it's ever been. Ever. That's all I'm saying. That's it. All right. Just waiting for the marbles to load up here. Apologies for the delay. Thanks, everybody, for your patience. Let's get our Grand Prix set up. Let's not waste time. Let's head down to Alienated. Not very alienated. There you are. Castle Siege second today. Here's what I've been doing of late. Let's see. Any high plays. I'm working my way down. I gotta see what I have to do. I not get, not get caught like I did yesterday. I have to watch and make sure. Make sure those times make sense. Close enough. Let's run a couple of these. That one. Let's do it. Right, just trying to make it all happen. 303, there we go. Chase Rainbow Palace. Portals of Power. There we go. Steve. I'll be nice today. I don't think I've seen any begging in the chat today. The guy that stays in Discord, yes. It's me. I hate Discord. It's just there. And... Uh, Get ready to do this, people. Drop your exclamation point, please. Get your marbs. Get your marbs ready. The boy is playing his meat today. So you will see me. But it is, in fact, just saying so I can. Uh, you know what? somebody because I neglected to send out the message. Oh well. Life will go on. seconds left exclamation point play for your marble to be on the track cranky witch is in mac is in. <laughs> what is wrong with you this 
Spiegel's just Spiegel. That's okay. Just be just be here for the XP. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. GTP on the move takes a rough hit off of the wall. Gives Buster Boy a chance to take over here. Uh oh. No, Brian got away. I thought Brian was toast. I thought Brian was in there for that. Uh oh, Buster Boy. Buster Boy gets it. Buster, congratulations. You may not finish this race, but at least you get first eliminated today. Rescue Joe, you won. You have a Marbles Master tagline. You're not just here for the XP. You've gotten the job done. Still get the XP. Marbles are on the move. Let's go down here and see, see what's happening. Darkwing guy veering off to the side. It's a nice job, nice drop into the uh, into the shoot here. Jen Asco, winner of the uh, battle royale yesterday. Uh oh, oh, my marble did not die as a result. Darkwing dead. Leading the pack right now. DW. Oh, there goes Ian. Darkwing Dad leading the way. Now suddenly, a pin becomes a problem for him. Should be the first to approach. By far, the first to approach. Landing pad. Let's see. Oh, it's not looking good. But it worked out. Darkwing. Goes in, Mac. In. Yeah, they definitely changed the base of this in the last week. I think there was an update on Monday or Tuesday when I started the game. And I think this this finish has been much more achievable since then, unless you're Brian. Right, we got a couple more in Bauer Alden. P cranky witch and the kid. Oh, not gonna. He's not gonna make it. One way or another, he's gonna burn up as he's being abducted. That was terrible. They, they yeah, they they lowered. Uh, they they slowed down drastically. Darkwing Dad starting off with the win. Let's get Castle Siege in. Exclamation point play. Your marble. Let's get on the track. seconds left. Get in here. Exclamation point play. GTP has the sun in. I almost feel like we have to clear out for him. Uh, Skid 420 is, is the last NASCO. Nasco without a marbles tagline. Ooh. Holden and I get rocked right at the beginning. Several marbles don't make it at that point either. Oh, Darkwing Dad trying to follow up. Oh, Aerial Apostle. There he goes. He's on the he got the boost. 
Still moving. Still rolling. There he goes. Good bounce forward. Oh no! Dead now moving in the correct direction. No longer moving in the correct direction, I said. This is definitely. There's definitely a. Uh... Whoa! Oh, Funk got through that pile of barrels. Nicely done. from here, Funk. Got it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, I don't like this. Slow down. Funk's gonna do it. He's got it. He's got it. Funk gets first place. Wow, look how far back everyone else is. Our main hope right now is this. Let's get down. GTP down. Oh my goodness, yeah, yeah, this this may be a funk is the only finisher. Because you can see the flames coming from Bauer here. Everyone else's marbles being incinerated. It's coming for Bauer. And way too much real estate in front of him. This is going to be a funk only finish. So long, Bauer. I made a good run at it. Funk, the lone marble to finish, only gets 56 points for it. That did not help. Not a good time, but still at least got 56 points. Exclamation point play for the Drasties. Brilliant, lovely marble. Get your marble on the track. Use your DLC privilege colors as you see fit. We have some shining examples here. Look at look at Thunder Pups. How fancy is that? Buster Boy always flexing the, the DLC privilege. Rescue Joe's in. Skit going for it, trying to trying to hold his place as a NASCO. Not let the rest of the family down. Sister got tagline number two yesterday also. There's some catch up to be, to be made here. Rescue Joe, Funk, myself, all uh all making some big drops here. C3 marble, not that far ahead right now. I like the boost set up here. Whoa! Let's roll the C3 marble up ahead here. Keep an eye on the rear view mirror. Use the X button. Everyone can at least agree on that with Mario Kart. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I. I don't have lobby abilities, but I can see about doing that with Joel. Yeah, I, I, I will, uh, the plan was for the kid not to be lobby. Funk pulling ahead. Once that, not happy with that 56 point solo win last round. Under you have uh you have capacity to open a lobby again? Oh funk. Whiffs coming out. Did uh, Thunder you gain re regained your capacity for uh lobby making? Oh boy. I always get kinda nervous when you're looking at these uh low single tracker. 
Warriors. Well, there you go, GTP. You've got your you've got your man right there. No fuss, no muss. Thunder has an army of children to bring with him too, and they will they will whip everybody. He's been training them their entire lives to get ready for this. Uh, that's gonna that's that's not great that's not ideal gtp thank you for the nudge you could have just left me there rescue joe making a break for it now <clears throat> rescue joe hopping onto that boost pad first i wish i could tell you what's going to happen here oh no the kids gtp have gotten TP, however, stay stuck on a peg there. And alas, just saying so I can. Not me. This is not me. This is just saying so I can. His marble lands immediately in a test tube here. GTP, Rescue Joe, and my marble all coming in. Let's see who can sink. And Rescue Joe, to, oh, I'm the fourth of them. GTP lands at first. And Rescue Joe, C3, Thunder Pump. Remaining marbles coming down here now. We lost a few. We lost eight along the way. My goodness. I didn't realize that many were going down. Aerial skit, MC Logic. Kid just happy to be here. Just won that one, buddy. Way, way, way. All right, here we go. Let's check and see where our Grand Prix uh, pre results are at. DW still holding on, seventy five points <laughs> as we head into Vol's lab. Yeah, my my kid showing how it's done. You got to get your kid to step up there. He's got to understand. He's got a reputation to uphold for the family. Easy Thunder, hold on one moment, one moment. Now, go ahead and do it. Now, Thunder Pump. <laughs> make sure Thunder gets in here. We're trying. Exclamation point play, everyone. All right, Thunder Pump's in. Mission accomplished. 30 seconds left for anyone else trying to get in. Bombshu makes it in. We have four Nascos trying to bully people. Four Nascos, two Tuckers, Partridge and Pear Tree. Where are those Grinelli's at? Where are Gamer V and Ender Phoenix at? All right, here we go. 16 marbles at the ready. As we drop. Everyone just simmering along here. Oh, we have propane. Beautiful propane tank there. All right, here we go. Marbles on the move. Splits to different sides. I think I had Thunder Pump selected as the third place before. Ooh. Oh, Skit, get, Skit getting the memo. He's got a family name to uphold here. His sister's chasing him down the down the path. My marble's <laughs> gone. Deceased. Your marble's gone too, buddy, so I wouldn't complain. A whole slew of marbles gone. Nine marbles have been eliminated just then. Two Nascos still with us, though. Skid says this is my time. Let's go catch up to Skid here. Leading the way. Big Sister chasing him down. <coughs> Nice, itchy, nice, getting ready to start up. 
Skit on the move. Knocked forward there. Skit is uh, Skit's in a good place right now. Bomb chew there. Jen Asko. I don't know what happened to her, but she got stuck for a while there. Oh no, Skit, you blew it. You gotta pay attention. You can't just veer off the side. Chu now in command of first place. Just happy to be here and collect his XP, but guess what? <laughs> He's gonna take first place. Mad Bomb Chu is in. MC Logic trying to be the second Marble Bower. Coming for him, though. Let's see who ends up sinking first here. MC Logic, there he goes. Bower, uh oh. Alright, Bower does sink it. I was about to say, might get overtaken by Janasco, who's, uh,. Got fourth place locked up. That was a murder fest. Bad bomb shoot taking 63 points. Jen Asko taking first place, though. Getting 31 on her current points. Bauer moving up to second. <laughs> All right, exclamation point play, people. Let's get ready here for the... World Record Discovery. Forty-five seconds. Not even. Forty-two, forty-one, whatever. Get your marble at the ready. Remember, there will be a Battle Royale finisher. That's just a thing we do now. So a second first eliminated. A second winning tagline. Second set of experience points for those who participate. Come do it at the end. Bomb shoes in. Bomb shoes feeling it. All right, here we go. Eighteen marbles at the ready. As they launch, GTP's got good positioning there. Just cut off my marble. GTP on the correct side of things, too. Bombchu, though, like I said, he's feeling it after that last round. Bombchu wants another. Look at that perfect boost usage by GTP and Mad Bombchu. Marble on the opposing side. Funk, GTP, Bomchu all riding together here through this turnstile. Oh boy. I don't, I don't like this for somebody. Oh, GTP got just smashed there. Funk, again, reminder Funk uh, winning Castle Siege all on his own. Ruined everyone's days by doing it that way. Ariel Apostle got knocked by one of those pins into the air but landed safely. Bomchu back, battling it out with Funk right now. And Cranky Witch, unhappy that she is the one Nasco not mentioned to this point. Cranky Witch now on the move. Two alternating sides. Aerial Apostle and Funk not realizing there's enough room for everybody. There's Super Baseball, Super Mega Baseball Master HRL Westy. Running around there. I gotta check that one out on the Switch. A simple baseball game. Maybe not simple, but you know, it's not. Not the show. Ooh, Darkwing. Is on the move. Again, Cranky Wish is playing these, uh, these pin piston sections pretty well right now. Let's see what happens as she approaches the wall. Will she take the outside or get trapped in the middle? Oh, boy. Cranky Witch might be on a... Oh, no, Cranky Witch made it through. There she goes. Into and through the mill. No issues. Oh, wow, look at that. Two portals. Portals feeding into one another. Not portals, but portals. Cranky Witch. Currently uncontested. Let's see here her way down. MC Logic trying to catch up. Ian's trying to catch up here to Cranky Witch. The Cranky Witch wants to remind her son this is Mother's house, not his. Oh my goodness, we got spinning wall and tumbler here before the end. 
Oh, Funk goes right through, though. Funk in the tumbler now. Spinning around, gets down, gets in. Funk on his way. If he can clear the top of this thing without issue. Funk takes the win. 10 seconds off of the world record there. Not bad for a 555 play uh, room here. My goodness, this is not pleasant seeing if this thing goes side to side. My marbles in along with Darkwing Dead. Cranky Witch not going to hit it. Misses. GTP, the next to attempt to get fourth place, will succeed, it appears. GTP let his wife take the fall, and instead he comes in and takes that fourth place spot. Westy Buster Boy bombs you, just sneaks in on the edge, just saying so I can's marble misses the finish line. Bauer and MC Logic both whiff. Jake Line is in. Alden's in. Oh, Alden's almost in. Jen Nass goes in. Skit coming for it. He might be joining mom. Father daughter time at the finish line. Mother son resting in deep space. Ariel Apostle. Thanks, buddy. I do appreciate that. Ariel Apostle still in the air. Funk. Our winner again. Funk. Now, Funk. Took second place yesterday without any wins, but has won two so far in this Grand Prix. Nobody running away with it early. We don't have a Machete Man situation like yesterday. Alden just trying to get a few points. Exclamation point play. You know, while, while we don't finish on the water slide anymore, we do have to get that in. Oh, I got myself key positioning on this race. Nice. Look, it's that shark mouth everyone's obsessed with using. DLC privilege marble in use for skit. Dad is in. Keep an eye on Funk. Funk realized it was second place finishes. They added up yesterday, but not enough to get the job done. Jay Klein, three positions ahead of Jen Nasco now. At the 922 mark, Jen Nasco slipping to 925. If you're the, uh, the number 10 in the world, maybe out of the top 1,000 soon. What a great day that was. Forever commemorated in the tagline. I think the first and only tagline we had created due to a uh, specific event that occurred in a game. I know we've had other taglines inspired by things, but I don't think we ever just straight up did, did that before. First eliminated one and set a devastating world record that put her up at 10th in the entire world. In the entire game. What a day. What a day that was. Now we're trying to hold on to first place here. Whoa, who got launched there? Who got launched? Where are they? Oh, Jen asked... <laughs> All this talk about what she did that day, that was giving Jen Asco inspiration to uh, try and go for another jump cut. Uh, I say I saw my marble launched into the air. I saw it so hit first place. Like, oh, maybe I'm going to land. No, I didn't land. I died. <laughs> Skit says this is my time. Uh oh, Thunder Pump now in the air. Oh, I, oh no, 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 no. His angle's good. Okay. At first, I thought he was getting enough forward momentum that he was going to get onto, uh, onto something up ahead, but no. But not dead. Thunder Pump's still in it on that bounce. Buster Boy and the Mad Bomb Chew leading the way. Bomb Chew chasing Buster Boy down. Bomb Chew pro tip, not great for an adult man to be chasing after a younger boy. the police blocker. And Bomb Chew just gets to the outside again. Trying to catch up to Buster Boy. Buster Boy and Bomb Chew both hit the wrong spot. Ariel Apostle, though, on the move. There we go. Just saying so I can. Following Ariel Apostle, Buster Boy, Bomb Chew all clustered together here. Do we have the exact same? Wow, that's weird. We had the exact same dual portal setup that we saw in that other race. Yeah. 
direction. Drifting a little too much the wrong way, giving Ariel Apostle a chance here. If he can clear this wall and tumbler pretty quickly, this will be Ariel Apostle's to lose. Oh, but that's going to be enough trouble. Give Bomb, Bomb Chu plays a clean line. Clean. Getting through there. Now let's see if Bomb Chu can clear the tumbler before it becomes someone else who's coming to try and snake this away from him. Bomchu getting a win before. Cranky Witch down. Oh, Bomchu's in. There it is. Bomchu's going to take it. This is basically just the same race reskin. So here it comes. Cranky Witch doesn't whiff this time. Aerial Apostle and Darkwing Dad miss at the end. Thunder Pump and Just Saying So I Can coming for it. The line returns just in time for Thunder to get three. Just Saying So I Can to get four. Buster Boy, who held on to first for a while. Five. Skit six, Ian seven, Funk eight, Bauer, nothing. You get nothing. Good day. GTP and Alden. In they go. Jen Nasco, the only uh the only Nasco not to finish this time because she was trying to be a dirty cheater and jump ahead of everyone. HRL West, your marble's there. Your marble was just in back, kind of ushering everyone along, making sure they're all safe, and now it's gonna fall into deep space. Bomchu taking his second win for the day. Moving up into a first place with 145 points. He's got a 10 spot on top of Funk right now. Bomchu will be paying attention and staying to make sure his race races are in. Exclamation point play. You have a minute to get your marble on the track. Has uh, got quite a bit here. Oh goodness, the world record's a 38 second spot here. The average time's a lot different on this one. Someone must have uh, must have gotten really lucky. Slapped off a wall or hit a pin or something to, to make that happen. I don't see how anything else could make that happen there. Exclamation point play, get your marble in just like Alden just did. Alden, rocking the number six. Blue DLC privilege marble. 022 has awakened. Machete Man is not here wreaking havoc. Right now, Bomb Chew is our first place racer for the Grand Prix itself. All right, here we go. Marbles are on the move. Making their initial drop. Rescue Joe in a pretty good position coming out. Bombchu though, Bombchu, like I said, Bombchu is now feeling it. He wants this all. Funk is upset because he was holding on to first place for a while there. Skit just trying to, to redeem his family name. I believe his first Marbles participation with us, but everyone else in the family has no less than one tagline. I can't remember if mom has two or not. Sister got her number two yesterday. Dad's got a few in there. Son learned it's time to get in here and play some marbles. Machete Man dropping in to say hi. Does not want to embarrass anyone today. Doesn't want to have this thing locked up after the fifth race, apparently. Too afraid to lose, maybe? Some 022 might say. I think 022 just whispered to me in the chat saying O2 that uh, Machete Man's too afraid. He will lose. Thunder Pump coming in now. Jumping cleanly through. Coming after Thunder Pump. Alden, oh, GTP gets a little big for his britches there. Knocked out of the way. Darkwing Dad, Cranky Witch, all gone. Skit's still here. I think his parents know. Listen, I played it safely and I'm still here. Spinning wall, let's see how this goes. MC Logic going the right direction for it. Thunder Pump, oh, MC Logic cuts him off perfectly to take Thunder's momentum. Starting the pot per usual. Never, Machete Man. Never. MC Logic in. Thunder Pump still chasing behind. That was a big block by MC Logic before up there. Let's see what happens as both of these marbles hit the wall. Whoa. Oh, Thunder Pump, though. Gets a nice nudge. Thunder Pump taking over here as we're making our final approaches. There's one more set of spinning walls up ahead here. 
See how Thunder plays this one. Again, Thunder using the wall perfectly on his way, and Thunder will lock up first place. MC Logic coming in, taking number two. Foster Boy and Skit gonna take three and four here. Bomb Chu take number five. Just saying so I can take number six. Westy cutting my marble off. Seven and eight. Ariel, Bauer. Funk unable to secure points. Taking number 11, 12 for Rescue Joe. And 022 burns up. Thunder Pump takes the win here. Dropping 58 points in here. Moving officially into second place. The Bomb Chew points, though, keep him alive at 166 and first. As we reach our halfway point at Twists and Turns. I have upset Machete Man. Machete Man will uh, now be coming into play, apparently. Said he only needs five races to make it happen, so I guess he'll sit out the last three. Marbles are on the track. Let's go! Exclamation point play. We've got 18. Let's go. Let's get over 20. Bauer calling for a world record on this one. We did this one before. Oh, maybe it was another season because it was showing not not this season. <laughs> but I believe just saying so I can has the record on this one. Unless I played this course on someone else's stream, then maybe that could be it. I don't know. Marbles are ready. Just saying so I can has this perfectly memorized and says he knows it, which means he's going to win it again. One of us has the record, buddy. That's all I know. Cody B, I don't know. Oh, Cody B did make it in in time. Nice. Way to go, Cody. It always gets rough in those last few seconds. Bomb Chew trying to hold on to first place. The What would I say? The 165, something like that, Mark. On his own ahead of the marbles right now. Here we go, Bomb Chu. Oh no, Bomb Chu. I want Bomb Chu. Well ahead on his own right now. Skit and Funk trying to catch up. Funk trying to see what he can do to get points back here. Funk has a. Funk won this week, I think, right? Funk won a uh, Marbles Master tagline. Bomb Chu is really just vibing today. Smooth, steady races. As he approaches the second funnel here too far on the outside. That's going to be a little too much spin. Yep. Gave Skit time to catch up. Bombchu needs to show some hustle here, but not too much. He goes over a wall. Skit being chased by Dad. Cutting off Bombchu. They clack into one another. Bombchu again taking a really wide circle there. Skit took a little bit of extra time. Bombchu holding on to that wall there. Prepares to head into the spinner. Oh, no. Catches the exact wrong spot. Giving Skid a chance. Skid ends up catching in the middle as well. Bombchu now holding on. Trying to see. Can he get another first place here? Jake Line on his way saying, hey, I'm the number 922 racer in the world. Bombchu, though, says he's taking the local record away from either me or just saying so. I no, he doesn't. Bombchu, I think, just missed taking the local record. Couple swerves at the end, but Bombchu, J Klein, Funk, Skit. Locking up points, possibly. Oh, Cody B will also get 21 marbles in there. Cody's getting some points as well. Skit on the board. Oh, come on. Who's slow? Oh, I'm slowing us down. Great. Play <sighs> side. Yeah, that photo finish was a ghost marble, fortunately. He, had actually, he actually had a pretty handy finish there, Bomb Chew. My marble. It's coming. Finally deciding it's going to finish this little sausage-looking course. All right, here we go. Bomb Chew is in. 148.334. Just missing by less than 0.2 seconds. 1.4, 1.38 seconds, something like that. I mean, point, uh, yeah, whatever. Bombchu just missing the record here. Gets 58 points. Moving further up in the Grand Prix. Bombchu, let's go. 
exclamation point play now. Buster and Funk are at the ready. Get your marble on the track. Bomb Chew. Halfway through, Bomb Chew in first place. We're on the back half of the races now, people. Race number nine. Just add Sunshine's Chase Rainbow Palace. Hours in. Let's go, people. Exclamation point play. Bomb Chew in first place. It is something that can be caught, though. 20 marbles on the track. That means better points. More points for more people. Let's see how this opening funnel goes. Chase Rainbow Palace. Last few seconds to get in here before the cutoff. Nine seconds. Here we go. Nine, like season nine starting in 16 days. 16 days left. Cash those tickets in. And away we go. Trying to see if he can ram into someone's marble. Give him an advantage. Look at that. Bombchu does it again. Bombchu and Darkwing leading the way coming out of the funnel. What the heck happened there? Why are... What in the large and big in marbles is happening here? Some people went through some kind of growth ray. What is this nonsense? Bombchu no longer for it. Oh, there it is, Funk. Currently in second place. Oh, those are not destructive blocks. Whatever it was, I think Funk just went through that growth ray there as well. Aerial Apostle went through the death ray, it would appear. Good God, Darkwing's dead. Which marble got even bigger. You should see a doctor about that. Yeeting for Funk. Perfectly executed. He's got to watch out. He's swerving too far to the side for this next sheet to work. Bauer coming in, though, taking over. Bombchu back up here with the big boys. Literally the big boys in some of these cases. HRL Westy. Gone. Never forgotten. Heading back to the Super Mega Baseball 4 Stadium of his dreams. O2-2's marble has been embiggened even grander. Can't even get in the hole because of that. My marble just whiffed and died. I can't tell what way we're heading here. Just saying so I can's marble. Maybe doing something or maybe dying. I can't tell. Oh, I'm just kind of sitting there. Okay. This is crazy trying to figure out what's happening here. One knows looks like Bombchu and Cranky Witch are up here. Machete Man! Tired of my taunting. Might be doing something. 022. Trying to stay ahead of his boy. 022 and Machete Man now comparing the size of their marbles with one another. Oh, good lord. 02 has just shrunk. Oh, <laughs> shrunk Machete's marbles man. Machete's man's marble even further. <clears throat> right now, just saying so I can. Battling it out with 022. 022 using his enlarged and marble to bully an 11 year old. As uh, just saying so I can now coming around the bend here. 022 and just saying so I can going back and forth off the walls here. The embiggened marble is slowing down and I believe just saying so I can indeed takes the win. It's not the size of the marble, it's the roll in the hole that counts people. Just saying so I can taking that win. O22's marble may have been embiggened, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Skit locking some points up. Yeah, I did that one. That one I did on purpose, Buster. <laughs> O22 says not the reverse Skitty's bully today. Errol, that last one was on purpose. I, I, gotta, I gotta say that. Janasco in here. J. Klein, MC Logic. Wrapping it up. No, it's not. Cody, Cody, come on. We got things to get to. There's 
There are eight more or seven more races here, Cody. Cody about to burn up re-entering the atmosphere. Can he outrun it? No way. This big dumb marble got blown up too. Just saying so I can getting another win in 93 points for just saying so I can. Moving him up into second place with a buck 92. 32 points off of Bomb Chew as I'm trying to do math in my head. Ow! Coils of power. <laughs> this is the kid who inherited it. Exclamation point play. Just saying so I can. Come here, buddy. Just saying so I can request an arms tournament for this evening. Unplanned originally added last night for anybody who's played arms on the Switch. All 12 of us. There will be a tournament tonight. Exclamation point play halfway through the countdown. Coils of power are here. Let's get ready. Yeah, there are a few people at least RSVP'd for tonight, so we will get a few rounds in here. I want to do more random one-off tournaments. The problem is just trying to schedule this stuff. So we're just going to throw one on for tonight. Let's do it. Everyone on their way into the funnel here. Bomb Chew, the funnel master. Trying to see what he can make happen here. Foster Boy, Thunder Pump, Machete Man leading the way, though. Let's get down here and check out where Machete Man is. Following behind is Buster. Let's pick up a bit of a static charge there. Whoa! Laser guns. Watch out. Has been the whole way. Oh, whoa, whoa. GTP is on his own path. Skit up there as well. Oh, Machete Man misses the portal that the others took here. GTP... Uh, going around some sort of Tesla coil. Skit! Just decide he's done with this one. Darkwing Dad, maybe in a good place. GTP, after all that, launches into space. Darkwing Dad, zapped by a Tesla coil and is gone. Genasco as well. Bauer's gone. Let's see if we can get somebody out of here alive. Power 022 all gone. Is this going to be a race where Marbles wins and we all lose? Errol and Alden say yes as they both together uh, go for the uh, <laughs> go for the jump. Cranky Witch, first one to uh, clear it looks like. Followed by Rescue Joe. C3 and Cranky Witch on their way towards some blocks. C3 marble clearing all the blocks, clearing through some portals that could be some trouble otherwise. Oh no! Rescue Joe got through, but Cranky Witch got portaled way back up there. Oh my goodness. Thunder Pump, look at that same portal, way back up where Cranky Witch is. Rescue Joe, MC Logic, Bonk getting points, just saying so I can. Bounces off the portal that would have ended him. Cranky Witch says, nah, I'm done with this. Goes, drops off. Does not have a, a Louise to her Thelma, like Ariel Apostle. And uh, was it Ariel and Bauer did? They pulled their Thelma and Louise together. Jake Klein going to burn up there with Thunder Pump. Bomb Chew. Just, just accept it now, Bomb Chew. You're not getting out of this one. Bomb Chew portaled as well. C3 Marble taking first place on this one. Dropping a 92 spot. Moving me up into fourth place. Just saying so I can takes over. Uh, that is tied. The only reason they are ahead of Bomb Chew is because they have more races in. They are both at 224 points. Bomb Chew and Just Saying So I Can are tied. Through 10 races, Just Saying So I Can getting the tiebreaker from the game because he has participated in more races. 
Bad Bonchu cracking his knuckles, probably hitting his head on a crossbeam somewhere. Tall drink of water working with electrical wires. It's going to happen. Exclamation point play. Funk is not far behind. Jamie is awoken, or not awoken. I guess it's, it's still time in British Isles. Hello, Jamie. Glad to see you in. Ah, uh, Bombshoe's out early today. His his dome is safe. He will not be hitting his head doing any electrical work at this point unless he's doing something around the house. My reminder to everyone. Let's make sure. You've RSVP'd for today's event. As always, make my life easier. I do my best. Listen, as long as you don't have a um, Twitch ID that's far off, I can usually figure out who it is. Let's make sure that uh, the young NASCO skit gets in there. RSVPs. A cider and pizza, Jamie. Nice. What's the cider of choice for you? Strongbow? Is it something else? What are we? What are we having? Alden coming out strong here. Machete Man, MC Logic, Darkwing all bouncing together down here. Jackalope, did Jackalope sneak in? I don't think so because usually when it's like inside of five seconds, even if you got it in, it's kind of rough. Jamie! Hopping in there. Whoa, MC Logic goes underneath. Getting a chance to catch up your thunder pump, machete man. They're going towards a turnstile. Gen Nasco. Oh my goodness, there's an explosive there. Oh my goodness, we have got explosives lining this course randomly. Up until this. Oh, there they go. Cranky witch. Gone. Exploded. MC Logic, look at this. Machete man, they've clacked and they've blocked everybody. Machete Man stuck because of Ian. Ian finally saved. Jamie's gone. Okay, cool. Jay Nasco. All right, he is in. Excellent. C3 Marble back in first, baby. Oh, stuck on a pin. Thunder's coming in. Look at that. Look at that fury Thunder came in here with. C3. Thunder first to enter the tumbler. Thunder clears the tumbler first, though. That's the important part. Westy doesn't clear anything. Rescue Joe. Thunder. Genasco. C3. All up towards the front here as they hit some ugly turnstiles. There are explosives. There is a yeet bar here. C3 marble somehow does not detonate on that explosive. There's a door in the way here. Thunder pump yeets over the door. Forget it! What a move by Thunder! GTP on the move, C3 on the other side. What is happening here? What is happening here? There's a portal going somewhere. Get me over to GTP. There we go. GTP, whatever happened, it worked out for him. I, I do not. Oh, Rescue Joe. There we go. Just saying so I can suddenly appears out of nowhere. Just saying so I can. Drawing an effigy of Bomb Chew on his chest and cutting it with a knife behind me. What? Stop that. It's psychotic, kid. Why do you know what he looks like? And there it is. Rescue Joe. GTP in. Just saying so I can. Locking up third place. Certain to get points now. Alden! Alden on the board. Let's get back up here and see. See if we can figure out what is happening in this mess here. Janasco getting fifth. Thunder Pump after all that ends up in sixth place. There are boulders being shot at the cannon. Not out of the cannon, but at it. 0227. Just uh, myself, eight. J Klein, nine. Bounce of the marbles on their way in here. Aerial Apostle and Skit also here, apparently. Not eliminated. Not for another few seconds. Funk back in the rear where he usually ends up in these things. His third place position will become slightly more precarious as the fire comes and catches him. Skit trying to finish this one, though, saying he wants to finish anyway. 
And he does it. Look at that skit ahead of the flames. What a stuntman finish there. Rescue Joe's ninth win of the marble season. But just saying so I can propels himself up to a 281 point position here through race 11. Bomb Chu holding on and Funk there both within striking distance. So is Rescue Joe now. Rescue Joe moves up to a 211. This is anybody's here as we are going through. Anybody who didn't RSVP, please do so now. Jackalope, now is the time to get in. Exclamation point play. There you go, Jackalope. Well done. Now, I have a reminder for everyone. This week, we started a new process. So we, we do the Grand Prix. We do our 16 races. We end with a Battle Royale. So everyone's marble goes in. They bang around. Last marble left standing takes the W. Jen Nasco won yesterday's. She got the bonus points for the win. She got the Marbles Master tagline. Someone was through, some whoever was got first eliminated yesterday too for that. A second first eliminated happened as well. Buster Boy, our first eliminated today on Alienated. Who will get first eliminated on the second run? We shall see. Those are pliers, not pens. There's my pen. All right, here we go. Marbles are on the track. This should be top five racers get points. Just saying so I can. Feeling it right now. Funk. Bombshoe. Rescue Joe. All, all right there. They want to get back in this. Portal Alley, though. Oh, boy. An unforgiving course. That few finish. Does the marbles... The marbles be portaling. Two marbles down so far. Oh, big that. Four marbles down so far. Janasco and Alden joining GTP and whoever else that was early in there. Just saying so I can. Still alive there. Marbs be portaling. Mine dead. Westy does a successful portaling. My marble did not. Machete man also lost in deep space. Marbles clacking together here. Westy going around. Funk. Trying to trying to make something happen here. Just saying so I can. Bounces around. Bombshu as well. They both successfully made moves here, but stuck now. They are on the move with one another. Rescue Joe tries the same thing. Gone. Whiffs on the return. Bombchu just in front right now. Funk is not in this any longer. Yeckler's record marble on the move. Skit wants his family to be proud of him. Look at Skit on the move here. At the final stretch, should be safe from at least destruction. Nothing else here. Buster Boy, just saying so I can. They're all coming in here. These, these blocks will be the trouble. It's a question of who's going to clear what first. Bomb shoe, just saying so I can. Oh, Darkwing Dad's going up there. Starting them. Look at that. He he started the block destruction for all four. Bauer cuts around everyone. Taking first place, followed by Westy. Just saying so I can and Bomb Chu are both there. Bomb Chu's going to get in and lock up points. Just saying so I can is stuck in seventh place. Skit will finish this up for number eight. 56 points go to Bauer. Bomb Chu moves up to a 252. 29 points behind. Just saying so I can. We've got four races left. We're on the final quarter. The final quarter of this thing. No blank for Westy today. Now you do the play, Skit. Now you, you jump the gun. It's too soon. So Skit, all right, good. You made it back in. I just want to make sure. We're at the Temple of Steve. Our official course. Simple one, but look at that end. There's a drop down here at the end, and that stage is moving back and forth. We're going to lose a lot of marbles along the way. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Ooh, Jen Asko moved up a spot. Trying to catch back up to Jake Klein here in the top thousand. Here you go, Jen Asko. Last chance for everybody. Less than 20 seconds left. Shorter than that for the cutoff exclamation point play. 20 marbles are at the ready. Be prepared.
Jackalope confident in his ability to fall off of this course. Speaking of uh, Kit again there, I know that's that's kind of running from the, the previous fundraiser before. Jill dropping in there for, for thank you for that for uh, GTP. Uh, Kit again has been uh, starting, they started sending out some communication to their folks out there recommending C3 as a place for uh, for their uh, their youth and families to jump in. So you're going to see some, some randos coming in here. Uh, make sure you're warm, welcoming. There's going to be some folks who... Uh, uh, some new folks there was a kind of a flood of them yesterday that were coming in for a kid again so make sure you're at the ready and again the exclamation point jill uh, a personal request from joel someone uh had a good influence on him and his time at uh, scary mommy there so if you can make a donation to the uh to the fundraiser there the gofundme please do please consider that so rough stretch ahead there but again a reminder there's some uh some folks coming in from a kid again so be uh, be nice, be kind, be friendly. And we're trying to do some stuff, uh, some stuff for them online at least to uh, take their mind off things. Again, a great, great organization doing all sorts of stuff for families to uh, try and take their mind off of things. So, ever good. And uh, again, whatever, whatever episode sixty-eight, I think it was with uh, Geo. Podcaster extraordinaire himself. You hear about a kid again. Bowers on the move here. Too much time for the record falling behind. Jen Nasco has our record on this course. Right now, people are trying to catch up. Darkwing, Machete, Alden, Jen Nasco, all chasing Bowers Marble. Ariel Apostle trying to make Bauer fall off, and guess what? I think... Oh, no, Bauer's going to do it. Bauer just, just barely got the marble in there. Darkwing dead. Wow, I thought Darkwing was toast. Shetty Man is in. Alden lands successfully. Buster Boy takes the five spot. Bombshoe drops incorrectly. Just saying so I can's marble. Not going to get points, but trying to hold on just to finish. Look at that. Just saying so I can somehow held on there. Just so he could finish as a matter of principle. Jay Klein and True Channel 3 race fashion coming up last place here. Bauer back to back wins. Let's see what that does for the points here. Cranky Witch and Jay Klein. Jay Klein does nail it. Cranky Witch is in. Bauer getting his 13. Lucky number 13 of the season there. Moving up into fifth place. And uh, not too far behind. Let's see, uh, 192. So within striking distances, we've got three races left. Three more races. Can Bauer make it three in a row? I don't know. This one's a random. Oh, God. Where's someone wake Smeagol up? Wake him up from his power nap. He's got his DuckTales course here. Nasco, GTP, Rejoice. I don't want to hear about this course again for a while, but I've made it happen. GTP, as I said, excited. Exclamation point play. 19 marbles in. Halfway there. 30 seconds left. Only three races left and really achievable for anyone. 57 plays on this course this season. I assume we are every single one of them. That includes the Dad Gaming Mental Health event. That was uh, that was Darth Smeagol bullying Gong Show Dad into doing it. All right, here we go. Five seconds. Trying to trying to drop the marble for Smeagol. TP on the move again. Another one who loves this course. The Aerial Apostle coming out of that one first. Funk is down there. Funk again, not far behind. Whoa! Someone just Westy. What did you do? Westy, you're supposed to just land in this little thing here. How do you miss that? All right, Jay Klein taking over here. Funk was trying to, to hold on to his mojo there. I accidentally uh, took, a, took a shot at his marble there. Where did... 
bomb shoe. Bomb shoe. Oh my goodness, what is happening here with bomb shoe? Oh, just saying so I can. Dodging the explosives now in first place. I think Bomchu might be dead up there and just doesn't know it yet. Just saying so I can. Oh, nice bounce off the coin for just saying so I can. Ian trying to stop the first place points for just saying so I can. Death lasers are here, though. I hear them. Just saying, on the move here. Through the mill. Oh, boy. Some tough bounces. Jay Klein trying to catch up here. Just saying so I can. Trying to get through. On the wrong end of the portal here. Jay Klein now on the move. Jackalope going high, but Jay Klein's going to take first place as he takes that middle ground there. Jay Klein, Jackalope, Cranky Witch. Rescue Joe. Just saying so I can gets fifth, so should get points there. <clears throat> but Rescue Joe's points are going to be dangerous too. Rescue Joe was up there. That's going to put him back up in contention again. Ariel, we don't say that, Ariel. We don't say those words. Most that we say, Ariel, is you have to make sure that you are in the rest of the races. This is like a perfect game of baseball. We just don't talk about it. Grand Prix results currently where I would, again, emphasize Ariel Apostle has to make sure he's locked in for these final couple of races. Just saying so I can moves up another 20s at 301. 49 points ahead of the Mad Bomb Chew with two races left. Oh, and there's two painful courses ahead. Smeagol, you missed it. You missed it. You blew it. Exclamation point play. Two races left. Just saying so I can. Ahead by 49 points on the Mad Bomb Chew. This is a race where maybe a quarter of us are going to finish. Maybe. And by us, I mean a quarter of you are going to finish. Ariel Apostle, is your marble on the board? Ariel, where are you? Seriously, hang on. Ariel! Do I just not see his marble? I'm slowing time down. Ariel! Where's Ariel Apostle at? Ariel! Not seeing his marble. Ariel. Ariel, wake up. I slowed time down. I can't wait forever. Ariel, I can't. It, it's still ticking down. Infinite welcome. Ariel, oh, there we go. Okay. Good God, Ariel. Don't make me do that again, Ariel. Don't make me do that again. Infinite leet, loot, whatever. Hi, welcome. Are you, are you a Buster Boy compadre? Is that, uh, that what that was? Alden on the move here. Genasco, Thunderpump, Jay Klein. Follow our marbles along here. Jay Klein on the move. You did read that correctly there, Jay Klein. Gotta watch. Marbles drop off in the wrong spot here. Thunderpump, Jay Klein, Jen Nasco. Just still battling out for those front three spots here. Funk is gone. Funk did not need that. Funk's points are precious, infinite, loot, loot, whatever. Not with us any longer. Just saying so I can's marble, not far behind here. Oh boy. Oh, and Thunder Pump bouncing the wrong way. Jay Klein is on the move. Alden and Jen Nasco. Now they're up there in the one, two, three spot. 
Shakes by Ken's Marble falling back to ninth place right now. Alden's Marble, in typical fashion, gone. Never forgotten. Let's get up to Jay Klein. Jay Klein in first place right now. Westy's Marble gone. Jay Klein into the cannon. Oh, does Oh, does he get the bounce in the middle? Oh, no. You want that middle bounce every time. But... Machete Man going. 022 rejoices. Jen Nasco on the move on the other side. Second to last race. Just saying so I can. Marble still back there in ninth place. Thunder Pump whiffs on the landing. Jay Klein nearly jumps off the wall in a bad way. Brother and sister battling it out. Two of the Nascos trying to take the same path here. C3 marble shockingly dead. Alden and I the first to get lost our marbles. The, the tagline for playing all 16 races in marbles and not getting points. <laughs> Janasco skit jackalope all together there. Cranky witch. Whoa, Cranky witch made the jump. She made it! GTP following the wife. Gonna show the kids how it's done. I can't believe they succeeded coming out of that that way. What a bounce. The fourth NASCO has shown up. Jay Klein tries to jump in here in between husband and wife. Cutting them off. Yes, yeah, Skit is the fourth NASCO. They are in here today. They've been shamed and embarrassed by their family. Jen Nasco getting her second Marbles Master tagline yesterday must have set him off. GTP now in control here. And GTP going to lock up this win. Just saying so I can in a fourth place position right. Oh, wow. Look at that though. Other Marbles jumping in here, cutting off. Just saying so I can. Mom shoot too far back to get points for sure. Jay Klein coming in for third. Let's see what happens here. Jackalope. Jackalope going to get points in fourth place. Star Smeagol coming in. And Smeagol and Jen Asko will take the fifth and sixth spots. So just saying so I can, we'll hold on to first place right now as we head into the last race. Bomchu coming in to finish. And we will only have 10 to actually complete this one. GTP gets the win. 112 point. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That puts just uh that puts Grumpy Trash Player at a 371. Or 271. So GTP has jumped up in the second place and is 30 points behind just saying so I can. Bombchu, 49 points behind still. Now I'm telling you now. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me, Smeagol, look at me. Look at me. I'm not talking about points until, until the results for this one. If they all get eliminated, I may declare it. But the points even behind that are so close. I'm not going to chip about points in the chat. Let's see how this thing plays out. Exclamation point play. Remember, stick around. We're going to do a battle royale after this. Jamie's in. Jamie, I didn't see in the chaos there. I didn't see in the chaos what the cider was. What is the cider, Jamie? No, no, no. You don't get to give him the win. He has to earn it. Infinite lead, infinite loot. I don't know if you're already in uh, in channel three there. But uh, that said, um, make sure you've RSVP'd to the event. If not, if not, uh, feel free. Sign up there. Extra. Oh, good. You just updated some stuff. Excellent. So make sure you've RSVP'd. That way I can give you your XP afterwards if you're... Make sure your user ID or at least your your Twitch is on your uh, on your profile, so I can I can identify it. Make it easy. As we go in, we've got three marbles within fifty points of each other here. Enemy at the gates, a race where you don't want to be in first place to start. You're about to see why. Oh, okay. Everybody, everybody makes it down. You got to slow down there, Jamie. 
currently in first place. Uh, pulls aside there. Darkwing Dead, Thunder Pump. GTP now using HRL Westy as a human shield. Yeah, but here's where we're going to show you why you don't want to be in first place. Westy shows you here. Not only Westy, but Aerial Pop. Oh, God. Four went down before that one dropped. Uh-oh. Just saying so I can in first place right now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Guess what, though? He's not going to finish. We have two marbles that are not going to finish here. Where is the bad? Bad bomb shoe is all the way in back right now. My goodness. Bomb Chu could do some damage. Plus, I don't remember who else is there. My marble's dead. What a surprise. Bomb Chu's in eighth place right now. Because every other marble's been eliminated. Smeagol should be slowed down enough here. Yes, he did. Look, look at that. Perfect slowdown by Smeagol. Making the final approach here. Infinite on their way in. Funk! Where Funk's not far off. Funk getting points here could be dangerous too. So Funk's going to take third. Jake Klein, remember, nobody look at the points. Nobody look at the points. We're just going to see what happens. Come here. You got to see what's going to happen. We finished the Grand Prix. Third place, Funk. Second place, Grumpy Trash Player. That means one kid using non-DLC Privilege Marble, just saying so I can, takes it. He's been lumping on the couch today, but kicked by a week of gaming camp. That's how this game works, dear. That's how this game works. On another note, though, Ariel Apostle. Look at this. Ariel, you did it. Get that screenshot in, Ariel. Get that screenshot. Ariel has done. Ariel went all 16 races without scoring a single point. Lost his marbles. Congratulations. Buddy, come here. You got to make a pick. We do a battle royale now to finish this up. You get to pick which one we run. Winter Wonderland. Winter Wonderland it is. All right. Aerial Apostle, that is a self-administered tagline. Just go in and hit. Go ahead, hit your quest. Just post that screenshot in there. Or if you wait until the results drop, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Once I post the results in, uh, may not be for a couple hours for this one. But once I do, you're welcome to just copy and paste the results from today in. Either way, Ariel, you get that Lost My Marbles tagline. Exclamation point play. I'm going to start the countdown. Seems like everybody's pretty well paying attention. Now, remember, once this starts, once it starts, you get an exclamation point play or exclamation point target, excuse me, and then the at of the person you want to target. So exclamation point target at the Dan Tucker if you want to bully the kid. What do you want? You have to pick one of these, buddy. Oh, no. You have to pick somebody's name on here. Oh, target me. Gotcha. All right, here we go. Kid will, of course, be targeting me. What a surprise. As this gets ready to go, I'll be right. Let me make sure we're in a good position to watch the opening volley. I and then I have to go figure out where I Let's zoom in here. Remember, another first eliminated will take place here. Not seeing anything specific, not seeing exceptional health down. There's some health down back here. Kid is targeting me now. I know that my rescue Joe's hurting. Oh, there it is. HRL Westy. Westy will be our first eliminated. 
this battle royale. Foster Boy taken out by just saying so I can. I'm taken out by Cranky Witch. Just saying so I can was targeting me, but Cranky Witch finished me. Infinite gone. Alden taken down by Jackalope. Look at there's not a lot of people here. Cranky Witch taken down by just saying so I can. Just saying so I can's health is in danger though. He's given a lot to take people down. Darth Smeagol taken down by Jay Klein. Jen Nasco bullies her little brother and takes down Skit. Bombshoe gets revenge on Just Saying So I Can for that win. And Bombshoe takes out Just Saying So I Can. We have a Thunderdome situation here. The marbles are battling contained to the dome. Not the Thunderdome. This is the Thunderdome. Is anybody outside of it? No. Jackalope and Jamie leading from a, an elimination perspective. Jackalope just murders Machete Man. Jackalope now in the lead for murders. It's called Jackalope's Marble. Right now leading in health. Jamie and Ariel not okay. Ariel takes down Jamie. Clacking back and forth now. Ariel with the most health. That has not been good. We have oh, a winner. And Ariel Apostle gets his Marble Master tagline. Congratulations, Ariel. Well done. Nicely done. That's going to that's going to be a wrap. Let me make sure I've got everybody's got everybody's ranking. Okay, they all fit. They all fit there. And uh, sure enough, Itchy's running. So let's go ahead and send everybody over. What is this stink? Let me make sure I got I got it right because there's like an under. Okay, here we go. Let me just do this. Let me just copy. For myself. How about that? So let's send you over to Itchy. He's our, our leading user today. Congratulations, Ariel. We're gonna run we're gonna run arms tonight. The kid requested an arms tournament. So let's do it. Alright everybody. That's it. Have a good run. See you at seven.